At the conclusion of this video, please click on the like and subscribe button and ring the bell and you'll get all of our updates. Hello, I'm Shell Spivey. Welcome to La Entrada, Ecuador. It is Saturday, July the 4th, 2020. I've used this backdrop here several times over the last few weeks for when I give the updates. And as you can see, there's no sunshine behind me. Uh, this is a time of the year where you have a lot more cloudy days and this is also when the whales come and uh, normally that's a booming tourist season uh, with people coming from all over the world to go on the boat tours to see the whales. Unfortunately it's just another blow to tourism here because the uh, sightseeing boats haven't figured out a way to have the, the proper distancing so consequently uh, that season is probably going to just uh, not happen. So, but gradually things are getting better here in the village. A few people are starting to be able to go back to work, uh, but probably 70% of the people in, in, in the village still do not have jobs. So, we're still continuing the food distributions. What we uh, changed it up a little bit uh, prior to last week, we were distributing uh, food to everyone in the village. And people have, as I said, have gone back to work, some of them. So what we've done, instead of us distributing food in the village, we have the, the food packets here. And what we're asking people is, if they've gotten their jobs back, you know, be able to get by on, the, on their own. And, and that resulted in about 70% of the people that we were giving food to uh, uh, still are requiring uh, food packets. So, but they come here and uh, what, what we're trying to do is uh, in our total village food distributions, we had about 1,100 a week that was going out and we cannot sustain that because in three or four weeks we'll be completely out of money. So what we're trying to do is, is cut that back to where the money we do have and the contributions that are still coming in will last us rather than uh, three or four weeks still last us another two or three months and that's probably is going to be required but hopefully as the th as things get better here that will be require less food but what we're also telling people if you're out of food I don't care where you are on the list come see us and we're going to make sure that you do not go hungry so that's what we're trying to do and uh, but you can feel it's optimism is definitely gaining now. And uh, one thing in the village, and I'll share this with you, uh, we only had the seven people die. And miraculously, uh, where a lot of the village up and down the coast have had uh, a good number of people die, like some of them, a lot of people die. We only had the seven. And right now, uh, I don't know of anybody in the village that's sick, and that's really positive. We're encouraging people to continue to wear their mask, especially the older people, and uh, you know, to maintain some distancing. I think we're still doing a fair job at that. Uh, most people here in Ecuador uh, are, are pretty good about wearing masks. You won't go out, or I haven't seen it, it's people out on the beach and you know, close together and with no mask on. So hopefully we'll sustain that. But, you know, our policy is now that we're asking people in the village, and it always has been, that if, they, if there's any sickness in their family, tell us about it, and we immediately get them on a, a regimen of medication, and we try to stop it on the front end. And so far, you know, that seems to be working. I think that, and I think prayer, and people are, are kind of amazed, I think, that we've only had seven people die and again that was in the first two weeks one thing that we've done because the kids here there's no school normally they'd be in school at this time and the problem is uh, there's the government just doesn't have money for school so what schooling is taking place here along the coast is done remotely and they have these cyber classes the problem is most kids don't have computers most of them don't have internet so uh, we have a young man that's been staying here with us under the WorkAway program, and he uh, is teaching English classes to the children in the village. They come here and they, they uh, uh, have the classes in our casita, and right now he's up to five uh, adolescent uh, classes in the smaller children, 
and we have now one going for older adults. I do want to say that we really appreciate the donations that are coming in and uh, you know we just couldn't have gotten by. There would have been a lot more people die and the fact that we've used some of the contributions to buy the medicine that helps us to disperse it. It's almost sometimes like Marcia and I, our, our a pharmacy or a doctor roll that, but that's what that's the situation we're in. We have to do, you know, what's required, and so far it seems to be working. So again, thank you so much, and uh, I'll give you another update in the next couple of weeks, and hopefully uh, it'll be even more positive than than what the situation is right now. It's definitely improving, but we've got a long way to go. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. If you would like to make a contribution, you can go to the description below and there's a link that will take you directly to PayPal. You click on that link and then you can make a contribution via credit card. Again, thank you so much.